my god, the game is not like it's at live. Here, please hit me as hard as you can. Long story short, f*** this game and everything it stands for. Now give me a few minutes to tell you why I think that. I'll be honest, after I'd done an honest review on Warpath and Rise of Kingdoms, I was quite happy to step away from mobile games entirely until I came across this ad on TikTok. You may recognise it. How many times have you downloaded a game that looks like this, but then the game was nothing like that? You didn't get to play it and you was really disappointed. I have found a game that actually has puzzles just like this. The game is called Ebony the King's Return. Some of the levels start out easy and then it gets really tricky. I've had troubles figuring out a few of them. It also incorporates almost like a tower defense game where you have to protect your cities and keep them safe. So you get to do puzzles and protect the city. It's so much fun. I promise you will love this game and you need to download it today. So depending on how you're watching this, you may not have picked it up, but there's literally a child just yelling in the background. You will love this game and you need to download it. And guessing another take was completely out of the question? Maybe I'm just spoiled by YouTubers far more polished ads, because I know they wouldn't have been able to get away with this lack of quality control. Regardless, I hope the irony isn't lost on you that she's saying how annoying it is to see a game advertised like this just to find out it's a different game, and that's exactly what this is. This game brags about itself being exactly like the ads, when the reality is it's exactly like every other deceitful mobile game. Notice how it's only at the very tail end they mention the other 90% of the game they're advertising? That's because, yet again, this is exactly like every other base building mobile game. Have you played Rise of Kingdoms? Mobile Strike? Warpath? Then you've played this. I'm starting to think there's some grand conspiracy where it's actually just one company copying and pasting the same game over and over, just swapping out the assets each time. And I won't be going into detail of the Ebony base building gameplay because, according to the adverts, that's not what this game is about. Hell, even the Google Store page for this fails to mention the fact that the majority of this game is a base building game and only a small fraction of it is these puzzles. Oh my god, the game is not like it's at live because this one is. I hated seeing those cringy ads when people were trying to save the guy. I always ended up tragically dying. And I was eager to save him, but when I downloaded the game, it was nothing like that until I downloaded Ebony the King's Return. And it's everything like that. And it's honestly quite difficult. As you can see, it's harder to save the guy. So if you just want pure puzzles of saving the guy, then you need to download Ebony the King's Return today. Ah uh, yes, condescendingly telling people they're idiots for saying the game is nothing like the ads when the game is nothing like the f***ing ads. She words it as if all you do is load up the game and boom, you're on the first puzzle. But no, trust me, it really doesn't work like that. This is the gameplay you're actually greeted with when you start the game. Your generals will inspire and lead your armies to victory. really think I'd need to build a bunch of buildings and go to war to play this puzzle game? How strange. Ebony initially started its life as a base building flash and web browser game in 2009, where it was exclusively a base builder with no puzzles. And I bring this up because amazingly, even back then they didn't advertise their game using their actual game. If you were on the internet back in 2009, you've probably seen these ads on some less than reputable sites, with each ad showing off some scantily clad woman with large personalities. Or if you were a good boy on the internet, maybe you've seen the Plants vs Zombies parody ad. Ebony would bait and switch horny internet goers, enticing them with softcore porn before hitting them over the head and dragging them to their dirty alley of empire building, wallet draining gameplay. This article from the Society Pages does an excellent job of showing the evolution of Ebony ads, with the first being almost representative of the game, with each preceding one getting more lewd and further off topic. There's even one that doesn't even mention the game, it's just, hey, click on my body and create your perfect woman. I don't really know what's crazier, the fact that these ads exist, or the soul crushing fact that they must work, considering it apparently has 33 million registered accounts. So like, after clicking this ad, at what point after choosing a fantasy state, building a city and going to war do they think, hey, wait a minute, I wanted to jerk off. I just can't imagine sticking around if it wasn't what was advertised. I'll link the articles down below if you want to read through them yourself, but The Guardian back in 2009 were appalled at the sexual nature of the ads used, and with the business model, saying that it was a system that seems intent on getting players to spend as much money as possible. Players are encouraged to buy in-game extras to speed their progress, but the confusing way the game prices its add-ons means that many users may not realise that a simple action, such as sending a message to another player, can cost 15p a time. 
And another article says how they are annoyed by the false advertising of the game, saying that despite the claims of going to save a big boobed queen, there's no such event in the game. It's funny how things haven't changed in over 12 years. So, let's get into the puzzles then. So they're not wrong, it does at least look like those ads with pool pins, lava and monsters. You can tell this was very much an afterthought however. With The King's Return being a sort of android revival of the old browser game, they needed something to trick people into playing their boring ass game, so they went and added a puzzle section. And the actual puzzles themselves aren't bad, it's just everything around it. The animations for example are pretty janky looking, with all of them running at a really low frame rate, and there aren't enough of them. Like, if you drop onto spikes, instead of seeing your character get impaled like he deserves, instead he just gets down on his knees whilst in the air and paws at the sky for a while, as they'd rather just reuse a generic death animation than animate a different one. It's the same reaction when a giant boulder lands on him. Your suit! There you are, now! Ah! It's also in keeping with their deceptive marketing that the animations look better in the ads. I mean, here's lava colliding with water in the ads. Not bad, not amazing. And here it is in the actual game. What is that? What the fuck is that? It also seems to flow a lot better in the ads and stuff actually interacts with each other properly. The difficulty is also all over the place, with hard levels that take a while to work out for a brainless YouTuber like me being preceded by ones that literally involve tapping all the available pins to win. I will say that if this was all the game was, and they polished it up a bit, a lot, then I'd almost recommend this game. I mean, there's a reason they use these types of puzzles to advertise games, and it's because they're genuinely entertaining at times. But of course, because this is the less lucrative side of Ebony, they've intrinsically linked the puzzles to the rest of the game. So if you want to keep playing the puzzles, you have to keep up with the rest of the game and level up your buildings. You get a string of puzzles before you're locked out and are forced to participate in the main game. I continued this little charade for a while, using all the time skips available to me to just unlock the puzzles as soon as possible, but even with them it was tedious. I'm sure there's a lot more to this game, and I'm bound to get a few comments telling me how I didn't play this for 10 straight months to get to the good content Ebony has to offer, but unfortunately I value my time too much to spend it playing a game I can't stand. This video is mostly here to share my utter disdain for games like this, that market their games as one thing when it's actually another. So, if you see any ads for this game, do yourself a favour and don't download it. I'd recommend a good puzzle game that doesn't have to lie in its marketing. Like Old Man's Journey. That was a lovely little puzzle game with a small but powerful story. It's £1.79 but it's also on Google's Play Pass thing, so I'd probably recommend that. Or Monument Valley? Hell, most things are better than this. Thanks for watching! Consider subscribing, liking and leaving a comment. All that stuff that gets this video out there. And if you didn't like the video, consider poisoning my water supply, burning my crops and delivering a plague onto my house. See ya!